Welcome back to my channel guys and so today i'm gonna to be showing you how i go from this really crusty dry blonde mess to this super soft all this movement i'm giving you the vibes okay so the first thing that we're gonna do is get our hair fully saturated i mean fully saturated which for my hair uh type was already hard as it is but with the locks much harder so take your time you want your hair to be fully wet and then we're gonna separate it. Um, my hair is not long enough to separate into four as of now, so two works for me. So I do half up, half down, and I start working my conditioner in. I don't shampoo, I use a base conditioner, which you see I'm using the Suave Essentials, which is actually a really great brand. Um, I really enjoy it, it really does my hair justice. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start my co-wash that. So. I focus on my scalp because that's the most important part your hair is growing from there it needs to be healthy and strong there so I put most of the product right there on my parts and in my scalps and making sure that I'm really working that in before taking all of that excess product and wiping it down the length of my lock that way I can get um, the product that I do have in my hair out because I don't use that much product to begin with but you don't want buildup, obviously. So what I do is I take most of that product and I get it all in my scalp, really working that out, making it snore it's nice and fresh, getting any sort of clumps out of there. And then I work it down each individual strand, just um, slightly separating my locks that might be matted or whatever the case may be during this process as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and ponytail that up and then I'm going to do the top part and then we can go ahead into the next step. So now I'm just going to go ahead and rinse the conditioner out. This is not the main part of my moisturizing part of this routine. Obviously, this conditioner has moisturizing properties. I, that's why I use it. But I really use it as my co-wash just to get the layer of grime off of my scalp and off of my locks so that I have a clean base to go ahead and start with my, with my um, deep conditioning, which is the real start of the moisturizing routine. So today I'm going to be using the Daily Defense 3 Minute Coconut Oil um, Deep Conditioner. I really like using the Aussie 3 Minute Moist Conditioner. That's the, my go-to, but I haven't been able to get it because of the whole quarantine thing. So yeah, we're going to be using that. And we're following the same exact um, idea that of the co-wash. I'm going to start off with my scalp. I need to make sure that I'm really making sure that I'm getting this product into my scalp. So that way, while the pores are open with the hot water, things are getting into my hair follicles. And I'm really working all that stuff in. Squeezing my locks, making sure that I feel as if I'm getting that product in there. And then we're just going to let it sit. I let it sit for about like an hour and a half or so before I rinsed it out. I honestly just went around and did a couple of things. Okay, so we're here. We're looking like mm, there's body. There's, you can see how light it is. You can see how soft it is. You can see that um, there's just, there's just so much more movement in it. And I was feeling myself like that. Look at that. Okay, so this is where we're going into the uh, second part of moisturizing so I have my little spray bottle of warm water with a little bit of my suave conditioner in there I have tea tree oil and I have coconut oil and I like to after I um, Dry my hair re-wet my hair reopen up the follicles with the warm water and then reintroduce my Conditioner as my moisturizing agent and then my two uh, uh, oils are in there and they're already sealing that in and then I go ahead with another oil. It doesn't matter. Normally I will use grapeseed for this one, but again, quarantine, so I couldn't get everything I wanted. I am gonna be using the coconut oil to just go over most of my locks individually, just to make sure that everything that I just put in there is sealed in, because that's what you want. That's how you're gonna keep the maximum amount of moisture in your hair. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of my hair. I'm just gonna like, you know, do a part, 
oil the locks, twist it up, and then we're gonna go to the next step. So once we're done with that, we need to kind of deep condition a little bit more. I mean, for lack of a better term, I don't really know. So I'm going to take a satin scarf. It doesn't have to be cute. You just put it on, you're going to tie it in, and you're going to leave for 10 minutes just to let that conditioner soak back into your hair. Let that oil do its thing, seal it all in, all that cute stuff. And then I put a hat on top just to create some heat and all that. And look at us. We are cute like all that movement if you look in the beginning of the video my hair was so dry like there was no movement like it's so soft it's so pure it's so clean this is definitely my favorite way right now of taking care of my hair and this is just a picture of it you know i did a little makeup i just want to show you how cute it could be and here's some maintenance so i had threw my hair in these little janky ass two strand twists for like maybe two or three days and every two days or so i just kind of go in and respray my hair with my little conditioner and oil concoction just giving my hair a little bit of moisture and a little bit of sealant so that way um it doesn't get too dry and yeah that's just the routine i'm really hoping you guys like it drop down below the things that you do drop down below if um you know what you want to see and um until next time baby dolls bye, -bye.